Hey guys, it's me Lee and welcome back to another video. In today's video I am going to do Scar from Nat Lion King theme nails. So to start off with, this is the Scar. This is what I'm using. This is this decal is from Queen of Decals. And I do mumble off to tell you that I'm going to only do the one hand which has got tips on. The other hand I'm being lazy and I'm making my friend come and recreate it um, tomorrow. And that's what he does. But there is pictures on my Facebook and you will see him doing it so the tips i'm using are coffin shaped tips and i'm not cutting them down or anything like that and then to start off with i'm choosing radiant white crystal clear caramel dreams and sheer black this sheer black says nail nails because i used it mixing nail nails products that's why uh, i haven't mixed anything else i just used nail nails crystal clear and nail nails pure black in order to make this and i did a couple of i think it was two or three scoops of black to a full tub of clear and i'm using max adhesion monomer and glitter planet orange is the new black glitter in this video and obviously my normal favorite brush that i always use and then i'm using one coat of dehydrator and two of primer and then I did a clear layer of crystal clear acrylic on all of the nails just a thin base so that if I want to far back I can just far back to the crystal clear colour so here I am showing you my my brush okay I think it was my middle finger yes it was and what I'm doing is I'm just starting off with a thinnish white base because the decals need a white base and I'm just applying it near the cuticle and brushing it down and making sure that I don't get none of that acrylic underneath and obviously it's not patchy because I don't nothing's worse than patchy white but yeah and I did zoom in you will have seen sorry about that thought it might have been better so you could see um but I think I kept going out of shot so I apologize for that now <laughs> Okay, so I finished with the white and I'm putting the lid on and putting them away and then I'm going to go in with Caramel Dreams on the pointer finger and I'm going to do two thin coats of this and I can't remember what I was rambling about when I was doing the video because I was talking and then my son and my niece decided they wanted to come and have a conversation with me. <laughs> so yeah, I do two layer, thin layers of Caramel Dreams on the pointer finger and then I just... And then if it seems a bit patchy then I go in and cover you know and fill in the patchy areas and that's what I do I do encapsulate all of these nails in nail nails crystal clear it's just a habit I have where I just cap everything Okay, so now I've finished with that and then I'm going to go in with the sheer black that I made using Nail Nails products and I'm doing that on the ring finger and I do that in like a wash because I don't want it to be super opaque. I want it to be as see-through as possible but dark. So I think I did that twice as well uh, over the nail and I just pat and press it down and drag it down. I use this more like a paint because I want it to be super see-through but obviously still have the colour there and I'm sorry I keep going out of shot. I think I won't zoom in from now on. Okay, so that finger is over and done with for now. Now I need Crystal Clear and Glitter Planet's Orange is the New Back. And what I'm going to do is a full nail of this on both my pinky and my thumb. And see how super glittery it is and shiny. I love it. So yeah, I started off by picking up a clear bead and then knocking my glitter everywhere which wasn't good um and then dipping it into the glitter and you know patting and pressing the glitter where i wanted it and then eventually i got sick of this method and i just went round and did a small bead of clear onto the nail um and then picked up a bit of glitter with my wet brush and just tapped it on where i wanted it because it's it's it gets less thick that way in my opinion um other people might find it different but I think the more acrylic you add the thicker the nail gets and I wanted to keep this as thin up as possible and then I was umming and ahhing whether to leave it clear at the end and then I was like nah f it let's just leave it as it is 
and that's what I'm doing in just filling it in and making sure it's all covered and I do the same on the thumb Okay, so in order to use this decal, I've put it in some warm water uh, for about 10 20 seconds, and I'm going in with Madame Glam base coat over the white nail. And I don't cure this um, because I want it to be wet and slidy basically. And then I'm going to get my decal and sliding it off, and then I dab it on a piece of paper, uh, you know, paper towel, and then I just move. The decal where I want it. The base coat makes it so it doesn't stick straight to the nail, it just slides and then you cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds and that's basically what you want because obviously what sometimes when you put a decal on and it dries really quick and whatnot and you can't move it. So yeah that's what I'm doing there and then now it's time just to clear cap everything. I did think I think I just put a kitchen towel over that glitter because I didn't want to get to get glitter everywhere so I started off by clear capping scar and then I clean cap all the other nails and I will just let you watch me do that Thank you. 
Okay, so I file shaped, buffed and everything off the snails and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with nail nails, pure acetone and just wipe over all of the nails. This just helps melt the top layer, smooth it over and any more scratches take it off. And boom, and then it's time for blend. Oh, and stamping. I do stamping in this video as well, I think. So what, yeah, I got a piece of kitchen towel because I don't want to get black polish all over my lovely white towel. And uh, I'm using this stamping plate and I did um and R because I did start off and I messed up but I left that in. And this stamping polish, I don't recommend this particular one because I do change to my Moy U brand. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how I do. I start off by wiping over my stamper with some acetone. This helps it get sticky and, you know, easier to pick up. And this polish is crap. It's it's It works, don't get me wrong but it's like it's not black enough do you know it's like watery black not what i wanted 
So now I swapped to Moya U and I did the same thing and I think I didn't like this pattern so I, I wiped that off my nail and then put a different pattern on and I'm using my finger to take some of the excess you know detail you know the bits extra bits that you don't want because obviously that's crud and you don't need that yeah I didn't like that so I wiped it off with some pure acetone oh no it wasn't it was pure acetone I used to wipe it off clean everything up and start again so right I'll leave you to watch me doing that sorry I'm rambling Okay, so in this dish is some pure acetone and this is my cleaning brush. This is the brush I use to clean up any messes I make. And I'm just going around the cuticle area and cleaning up any of the excess stamping design that I use got on my skin. And that's what you see me doing right now. Okay, so now I'm using Madame Glam's top coat. This does have a tacky layer, so I'm going to top coat the ring finger and the index finger first and pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm going to top coat all of the nails. This is to make like a vacuum, vacuum seal on the gel, uh, you know, on the stamping thing to keep it in and it lasts a bit longer apparently. Now it's time to top coat them all. Look at all that shiny. Okay, so it's time for bling now. So I decided that I was using these red ones for scar nail and then these are the ones for the other, the ring finger and the pinky uh, pointer finger. Um, and yeah, so I get this bling gel that I've got and I apply the red ones, starting with a slightly bigger one and then going down in size. I chose red for scar because he killed Mufasa, the evil git, and I thought it would just be all right on that one nail and they actually look all right actually I think and then I use the other gems crystals whatever you want to call them on the other two fingers but I do pop them in the lamp for 10 seconds to cure and that's basically just to keep the stones in place whilst I do the next one and then I cure for 60 seconds at the end
So now I'm going in with Nail Nails Gel Wipe Off Solution and I'm going to take the tacky layer off all of the nails and then the final step is to go in with my Nail Nails Peach Cuticle Oil and just apply that to all the cuticle area and then rub it in. So there you are guys, this is the finished look. Uh, my hand, my friend did the one hand, the bottom one, and I did the top one. So yeah guys, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any ideas. And don't forget we do have a giveaway. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.